Hello everyone. This video I'm making for the faculties uh, uh, with some tips and tricks on how to stop the class and also avoid the students from joining your class once your class is done. So what we'll have to do is uh, when we start our class, you have to join. I suggest that the faculties join uh, the class five or ten minutes early before the students actually start joining. So once they start the class, this is how it will appear. We'll be waiting for this to join. And uh, exactly at the time when uh, you're supposed to start, you can uh, click here and click on start the recording. So after waiting for some time, you can see that the recording will start around here and a message will be displayed for all the participants. Muting and unmuting will be available from here as usual. You can share your screen from here. And there are other options available inside this, which you can use. Uh, once you're done taking your class, you have to end the meeting. If you click just the right button, there are chances that you will just uh, leave the meeting temporarily, leaving all the students still within your meeting. So if you click on end meeting from clicking uh, by clicking from here, all the students will be removed from your meeting. But even after removing, after the students are removed from your meeting, it is observed that some students are panicking and joining back into the same meeting, which was ended just a few minutes back. So if you don't want that to happen, you have to follow this procedure. You have to go here and by clicking on the three dots, you should join on manage permissions. Of course, for the meeting options to open up, you have to be signed into the Chrome browser also using your same ID. And uh, here you can see the various options are present. Who can bypass the lobby? I had kept, we just usually keep it as people in my organization. So because the students are already added to the organization, they can join directly. So before ending the meeting, what you can do is you can change this option to only me. You can change this option to only me and click on save. So after changing the meeting options, you can go back here and end the meeting. So what this will do is it will stop the students from joining back into the same meeting and uh, uh, further problems can be actually avoided. So your recording of your video, uh, the recording of your class will be uploaded here slightly uh, uh, some, a few minutes after the class ends and your students can actually view your class from here. Any other further commenting is also possible. You can either reply to a comment which is already done or you can reply to the uh, reply. We can post a fresh reply to this particular meeting, this particular class. You can also later on attach uh, a poll containing a few questions based on the class, which uh, you can ask the students to answer. So if the student, uh, you can, by that way, you can get to know whether the students have actually attended your class and whether, whether they were attentive. If they were not attentive and they missed what the question, whatever question you have created in the poll, they can go back to the video, watch it again carefully and try to answer the poll correctly. So these are some of the uh, tips which I would like you to follow, uh, which essentially will be helpful in improving overall experience of conducting classes on Teams. Thank you.